Assalamu alaikum. My brothers and sisters, I just want to tell you something very interesting. I met a brother who is concerned about his son. What happened is, he says, my son was doing very well. Corona came in and then he perhaps got immersed in a bit of social media. Life changed. Schools and uh, his aims and objectives and everything was uh, shuffled. And now he's not doing so well. He's always anxious about the future. Perhaps he has quit some of what he was doing. And, you know, he doesn't feel well. And he's just a teenager. So I was telling the brother, this is a common problem with uh, the teenagers and the adolescents and even others, where during the virus, life changed tremendously. Life changed so much that uh, some people actually uh, became depressed. That's the word. And others became anxious. That's another word. What am I going to do in the future? Where am I going to earn? What type of a job am I going to have? How am I going to survive? Do you know what? Leave it in the hands of Allah. Do your best for today. Have a plan that you're working towards. Don't be shy or don't be weak when it comes to changing the plan if need be. And leave it in the hands of Allah. Live a day at a time. Look for opportunities. Seize opportunities thrown at you by Allah Almighty. Work very hard. Trust in Allah. And you need to have that reliance and conviction. So this is something very important. Rely on Allah. If Allah could feed and take care of the ants and the insects and the uh, locusts and the rodents and the birds and the fish, what about us? Allah will take care of us. But we need to remain f steadfast in our connection with Allah. We need to have this conviction that Allah will take care of us. We need to live a day at a time. Be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you've had one good day, successful, thank Allah. There are people who really don't know how the next few hours are going to go because they're either in a war zone or they're either in a zone where there is natural disaster or they're living in constant fear of an enemy or an attacker. They're not safe. They may not have food and drink at all for the next for the day. So thank Allah. Allah has given us a lot. He's given us folks. He's given us family. I mean, if you are watching this video, at least you have internet, you have a phone, minimum. But so thank Allah for that. And Allah is great. Uh, Allah will definitely open our doors. He will grant us the healing. Uh, yes, it is a problem. Be determined. Even if it means repeating the exams, you may have failed as a result of COVID. No problem. You might have uh, been a year or two back. It's because Allah knows He wants to open a door for you in the future that was far bigger than had you passed up in the first uh, perhaps year. So failure in terms of worldly life is not necessarily failure in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, please understand that. Be happy if you have, have passed a day where your salah is in order, your relationship with Allah is in order, you've eaten a little, don't overindulge. You've eaten a little with the name of Allah, thanked Allah for it. You have a few people who care for you, around you, and you've protected yourself from sin. That is the great success you have really achieved. If you have achieved one day like that, you can achieve another day like that. And if you've achieved a few days like that, wallahi, you have really succeeded. So we thank Allah Almighty for this and we, we really uh, ask Allah Almighty to grant us from His blessings. Uh, remember, shaitan makes us anxious about the future. Allah says, rely on me, trust me, do your best, don't laze around. Build your relationship with me and I am the owner of everything I will give you. Constantly call out to Allah. May Allah open your doors, my doors, the doors of uh, the child of the brother who was speaking to me. At least it brought us a few words to remind the people about and yes, it is an issue. People are anxious, but we need to remedy that, inshallah. Similarly, it's very good to talk to someone who can counsel you, to talk to a group of people, perhaps. Subhanallah. Um, it, it's really a good thing to have a group where we can actually speak to people and tell them that, you know what, uh, this is what I'm going through, This is what, or this is what someone's gone through. Maybe listen to what they're going through, how they dealt with things. And in that way, we can all help each other, make sure they're genuine. Barakallah fikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.